everybody, he's Ray Ferraro. I'm Gene Sabalski. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. Well, they've gone through camp. They've done their practices. What's the first preseason game mean for guys? Guys are excited. You'd be surprised. Even veterans who have been around a while, they're like, okay, no more skating, no more practice. Let's start playing. Hockey is back, and so are we as exhibition is about to get underway. The Avalanche have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. McKinnon's got the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Chicago's gained possession. Passed up ahead. Puck grabbed by Keith. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. And they fail to go tape to tape. The Blackhawks played along the wing. Air mails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. Blocked in traffic. The Avalanche have possession now. Keith's going to play it near the point. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Oh, he stops the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Colorado's got it across the line. Gets it out of his own end. And now it's grabbed by Johnson. Solid check to slow him down. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Jostles the puck loose. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Kadri. Takes the feed. Move to the middle. Snaps one on net, and that one's blocked. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Intercepts the pass at center. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck picked up by Kent from the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Denies him in close. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Colorado's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Avs played along the boards. Colorado's got the puck in the corner. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Smothered that in close chance. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Pinned up along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Grabbed along the boards by McCaution. Puck scooped up by Mata. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. Chicago's working the puck near the point. And he comes up with it. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. The Avs take it across the blue line. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's see the call here. Keats going off to the box for two minutes. He's fishing around, trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. Wilson's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. And with that call by the officials, it's a long five-on-three set to begin. When this puck is moved side to side on a five on three, you're going to rotate those penalty killers around. Eventually, you're going to tire them out. I don't mind taking a shot, but it can't be a bad one from the wing. Get it on the net. Taken by DeHaan. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Picked up along the wall by Mata. The Blackhawks have it now. Sends the cross ice pass. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. That eyes him on the play. Nice pass. The Avs are on the attack. Knocked away. 
The Blackhawks have possession shorthanded. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Got a hold of it against the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Nice zone entry from the middle. Colorado's got it now. Puck grabbed by DeHaan. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Moves the puck. Takes that one right in the logo. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Past the midway mark of the frame. The game is still scoreless. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. Pokes it away in his own end. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck under man. Couldn't make that one happen. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Carries the puck up through center. Gains the zone through center. And a poke check knocks the puck away. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. And he handles a cross ice pass. Slides the puck over. Stops him cold. Quick feed to Kempf. Sends the pass over. And look at this, a three on one. Nice poke check. The Blackhawks gain possession of the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Kempf. The Blackhawks kill off the penalty. Got to give their shorthanded unit a lot of credit. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time you don't yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Chicago's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Great defensive effort with the stick. Saucers it tape to tape. That's off a stick. And now it's grabbed by Dabrinkit. Turn that chance aside. Shot, takes it right in the chest. And the... Oh, he's trying to box him out. This getting a little testy. Dabrinkit's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Steps in and takes the puck. Colorado's looking to break out. Connaughton's got it in the offensive end. Moves right to the middle from point blank range. That opportunity is rejected. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. To the front. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Taken along the wall by Keith. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. From the slot, fires away, answered the call there. Chicago's working around along the line. There's the whistle, offside is the call. Here in the late goings of the period, still looking for our first goal. Chicago's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. The Avs win possession here in the open ice. Scrum ensues along the boards. Handles the pass into the middle of the ice. Centering pass! And just out of arm's reach on the play! Across the line and on the attack. Moves into the slot! Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Up along the wing. And he makes the save! Right to the middle! Wrist shot from the slot! Denies him again! And he came out and challenged him. Good save. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And we've got a two-on-one. And he whiffs on it! Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Unleashes a cannon! That's a good scoring chance too, James, but that puck's got to get... Hey, usually the whistle is going to stop the play. I guess not tonight. Gerard's not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. The centers will glide into the dot. McKinnon's won a big draw on their own end.
That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hack Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. Drop the puck here on period number two. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Blackhawks have to believe in the process that they're playing well, they're possessing the puck, and eventually they'll crack through with the game's first goal. Pumps it away to keep the pressure on. Picked up along the boards by Murphy. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. The Blackhawks going to work on offense. Right in front. Scores! The Blackhawks strike! Goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. The Blackhawks finally, finally get on the board here in the second. Maybe a little bit of an exhale from them too, James, because they've dominated the play thus far. No kidding. And probably a little unlucky only to lead 1-0. The Avalanche have possession at center. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Maintains possession. Now he slides it up to Kemp. Four seconds. Takes a shot and a great save. Scooped up along the wall by Graves. Receives the pass. Here he is in front. Shot redirected. And he denied that opportunity. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Couldn't find the intended target. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed. Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Quick shot there, James. Goalie beat low on the glove side. He thought he had it. Doesn't catch it. Chicago's now built themselves a significant lead. They lead by two as we approach the midway point of this game. And a place that they've earned. They've had the majority of shots on goal, the most of the dangerous chances as well. And they've been rewarded. They go on the attack through center. A chance right in front. Denies him. Crawford's right on top of that chance. Great A spot. Great A save. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Slides the puck across to Gerard. Through center along the wing. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. There's the whistle penalty coming up. Sinbin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. And that's blocked. Puck picked up by Suter. Exploring options from behind his own net. Gets the puck over to Wilson. Takes the pass. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. The Blackhawks take over on possession. And he heads outside the comfort zone now to go play the puck in his own end. Moves it over to Kadri. Gains the zone through the middle. Strong defensive effort. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Stretches one out to Johnson. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Puts it up front. Whiffs on that. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Oh, going wide. You can go games without a chance from here. 
The Blackhawks take it across the line. Makes a move in front. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Chicago's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Calvert's got it along the boards. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Carpenter's got it along the wing. Sends a pass over. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Still lots of time left in the period. 2-0 is the score. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. The Blackhawks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Kremeros is out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. And nobody's going to be very happy about that one, James. No real chances generated. No momentum game. Just a couple of minutes roll off the clock. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Handles the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. Takes the feed. Let's it go. Denied by the goaltender. Crawford's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. And that one's broken up. Couldn't complete the play. Carries it across the line. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Chicago's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Dickinson's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Throws it in. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Dished on over to Suter. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Here's the pass. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Blast from the blue line. Oh, what a stop. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Good battle along the boards for the puck. From the point, looks to make something happen. Moves along the blue line. Snaps it onto the net. Stones him in front. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Oh, great little takeaway at center. Quick feed to DeHaan. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Nice pass. Cuts to the front and makes the save. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Avs move to the offensive zone. Chicago's got the puck. Into the offensive end now. Right in front, and they can't convert to the play. Turned aside by the goaltender. The Blackhawks have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. And he takes a shot. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. Now uh, you react. You go to get the puck and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Smart defensive play there. From the back of the cage with the puck. Puts it on that, and that one's turned away. Centering pass. Great defensive stick work on the play. And another stop. Moves the puck. He, he might have a step here. Goes right to the crease. Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. 
And nearing the final minute of the second. Gerard's got it in the offensive zone. Puts it on goal. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Trying to get back on the attack now. Here they come. Three of them. Shot. Scores! That's just a minute between goals. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. The Avalanche have new life in the late stages of this second period as they have tied things up. Well, you got to claw back into the game. Now you've got it at even. And what can you do in the last little bit of this period and into the third? Boy, the net hunting there. I think he did. Man, that thing is way over top of the net. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Tonight, our world's biggest flip is dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for the night and fun. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. It's been a fun one so far, all tied up as we are now underway here in the third period. Makes the save. The Avs will play it in their own end. Pokes the puck away. Good hit on the play. Moves it to Carpenter. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And we're going to... Ah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Graves got better things to do than fight this guy. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. You can... Feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck scooped up by Keith. To the low slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Murphy. Chicago's got it near the point. Takes a shot. Misses wide of the net. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Steps across the blue line. Quick pass to Carpenter. Moves the puck across to Debrinkit. And that pass goes awry. Unloads one. Big save by the goaltender. The centerman glide into position. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He was locked in there. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Slides it on over to Wilson. Chicago's regained possession of the puck. The Avs move it in. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. They've got the defense outnumbered. Shot with the stop. Coles lugging the puck. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Slides it over with pace to Wilson. Colorado's in transition. And the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. Sends the pass over. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nice job tying up his opponent. Slides the puck over. Colorado's got it along the wall. Takes a wrist shot. Gives them nothing in front. Oh, and another big stop. Nice work in there. After the first stop, he's got to find the puck to save the second. Passes right to the front. Knocked away. Here's a chance behind the net. Grabbed along the board by McCaution. Here's a chance. Gets in front of it. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Johnson's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. The Avs take it along the wing. Chicago's ready to go on the attack. Drives to the paint. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal. Yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. He 
These are fun goals to score. You read that the goaltender's dropping into the butterfly, and you know you're going top shelf. You beat him over the glove, it feels great. The Blackhawks have gone ahead here in the third. Have you been impressed with what they've been doing tonight? Really like the way that they've held the puck. They've dominated the possession chart. They've had really good chances. Now they got to be careful. They're going to get some pushback now. Can't maintain possession after that hit. It's a two-on-one. And he gets a paddle on that one. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. And he connects with the long bomb. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Murphy. Shot in front. That goes off a twig. Taken by Debrinket. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Slides the puck over to Suter. Here's a chance. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Here's a chance right in the slot. And he can't find his man. Colorado's moving it up the ice. Right in the slot. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Sends it quickly to Carpenter. Carries it in. The Avalanche have the puck in the defensive zone. Loses his balance on the play. Takes it and looks ahead. The Blackhawks looking against the half wall. Here's a chance. Stones him with the blocker. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice as the puck goes out of play. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. That pass goes a little sideways. Here's a short pass to Wilson. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Chicago's on the attack. Move to the middle. Snapper from the slot. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. Chicago's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Scored by number six. Here's an odd man rush. Takes a shot. And that one stopped. That's a lot of hard work for him to make this stop because he's got to find the puck first before he can get his body in front of it. Six seconds. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Inside the offensive zone. The Avs have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Some great thievery in the open ice. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Into the corner now. A chance in front. Great save from in tight. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Receives the pass. Can't connect. 
There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Chicago's offense is the difference tonight, Ray. Close game. Not much to choose between the teams, but if there was a difference, it was that they shot the puck more, they got it back more, they delivered more chances on goal. I guess there's a lot of different organizations that can take credit for how this grassroots movement started, but I love the post-game tip of the cap here. Well, I think any team that doesn't do it now would look like they're missing the boat. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.